Welcome artists, it's Miss Chisa. Today we're going to talk about lines, all sorts of lines. I have a story for you first and then we'll explore lines in an art project. Our story today is called Lines by Philip Yanao Wine. Artists make pictures out of lines. Lines start with a dot, and a dot grows into a line, and from there to a whole picture made of dots and lines. Here's a picture made only from lines crossing over one another. Look very carefully. Some lines are straight, some curve, some zigzag, some loop, some make shapes. Can you find curving lines and straight ones, loops and zigzags? What shapes can you find? Look closely, and if you need to pause the video, you can. Of course, lines can be any color, and there are many ways to make them. Using brushes, pens, crayons, pencils, fingers, Some lines are thin, some are thick. Lines can sparkle and wiggle. Lines can help us imagine things. Can you imagine clouds, a boat, Smoke. Can you find a line in this painting that's moving fast? How about one moving slowly? What else can you find? Pause the video so you can look closer. Artists draw what they see, but then they can change things. Do you see how the cow changed? Artists draw outlines of shapes we know. Find people in pictures and plants and chairs. But not all the lines outline shapes. How many other places can you see lines? Can you see lines at the edge of the painting? How about lines between things? How about where two colors meet? Can you see lines there? Or where things are in a row? This picture has lines that you will find if you look carefully. Can you find a line of yellow light flashing on the green water. Remember, if you need more time, go ahead and pause the video. Can you find lines of swirling water beneath the bridge? Can you find a line of traffic on the bridge? How do you think you would feel walking across this bridge? This painting is made up of tiny lines of color. Lines make all sorts of shapes. Find these shapes in the painting by Vincent Van Gogh called The Starry Night. They tell a story about a very bright and starry night in a small village. Can you tell the rest of the story? Go ahead and pause the video.
can you draw a picture with thick lines and thin lines, with curves and colors, with shapes we know, with lines to make us imagine? You can go ahead and try that on paper. I'm also going to show you another way you can try it. Okay, now you get to experiment with all kinds of lines. What you'll need is a piece of aluminum foil, some different objects. Um, I'm using pencil, chopstick, and um, a fork, but you can experiment making lines with whatever you have around the house. Just remember, you have to be very gentle because the aluminum foil can tear. And then the last thing you'll need are Sharpie markers. And remember, these do not come out of clothing, so you need to be super careful and only keep them on your artwork. So I'm gonna start with my fork. Kinda of see what kind of lines the fork produces. I'm going to use my chopsticks. Within my little bubbles here, I'm going to make different textures. And then I'll try my pencil. And just a big swirly scribble. And then after you fill your whole piece of aluminum foil, then with drawings and lines, then you can use your Sharpie to follow your lines and trace your lines. So this activity is really good not only for your pincer grasp, which helps you with your writing, but also for your hand-eye coordination. So go ahead and explore all the different ways that you can make lines and shapes on your piece of aluminum foil. Don't forget to be very gentle. Don't press too hard or you will tear right through the aluminum foil. And you can get creative with this, with the lines you use, with the colors you use, with the objects you choose to make those lines with. I just grabbed three things, but look around your house. You can find, I'm sure, many, many things to use. So here's mine, and I had done another one previously. So I cannot wait to see yours. Don't forget, you can share your picture with me at Butterfly Garden Preschool on Instagram. If you enjoyed this lesson, remember to hit that like button and subscribe to support our channel.